Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. So we were discussing the story, the watery place. That's what we were doing in the previous class. So we So here we are. So this is the story we were discussing. We had actually started the story in the previous class. Uh, it is the uh, story is titled The Watery Place. It is a science fiction story. It is uh, uh, a fiction or story which is based on science. So that's why it is called science fiction. So when the story begins, we have a narrator who is the deputy sheriff who talks about the sheriff. And we learned that the name of the Sharif is uh, Bart Cameroon. And uh, he is a, uh, he's a very rich person because his uh, income tax forms are very complicated. So that is, this is what we were discussing in the previous session. And uh, because of the, some mistake that he committed, we will not be able to space travel in the future. So this is what he uh, says, the narrator says. The narrator is the deputy Sharif. We also mentioned in the previous class that the author and narrator are two different people okay so they are not the same persons so are, are two different uh, uh, they are not the same okay so the author is uh, isaac asimov but the narrator is not isaac so author is the uh, person who writes the story that is isaac asimov and the narrator is the person who narrates the story. Here the narrator doesn't have a name. He only says that he is the deputy of the sheriff. So he is a deputy sheriff. So that is all that we know about the narrator. The narrator uh, uh, is the deputy sheriff. Okay. And uh, uh, in that uh, last paragraph that we discussed, one second, let me...
Yes, here we are. So this is the paragraph that we were discussing. It is, uh, uh, it, this describes, this paragraph describes Bart Cameron. He is the Sharif. So you can see that there is a description about Bart Cameron. That he, he is a person. What kind of a person he is? He is described as an impatient person. So he is impatient, uh, especially because uh, he is working on his income tax forms. So his income tax forms are very complicated so that is what uh, this paragraph tells us because he has a lot of income from different sources what are the different sources of income that he has yeah, they can I the different sources of income yes very good Anjali he has got pension uh, because he is a uh, he's a disabled person he is a disabled person, so he, he has got a, a disabled pension. He has also got salary. Again, in a salary, get another salary because as he is, which, which position is he holding? He's yes, he has shares in sheep ranch. Yes, he has a, he has some shares. He has some partnership in a sheep farm, uh, and he has also got salary as sheriff. Sheriff, in the position. Yes, he also. Yes, very good. Thank you. Yes, uh, that is nice. He also has uh, assay work. Assay work, no, Arnal. We discussed that assay and essay are two different things. Essay, no, Arnal. No, we have many other things. No, the essay, all assay, no. Assay is actually measuring the purity of metals, especially metals like gold have to be measured for their purity because they are very precious metals. So. Uh, that kind of uh, uh, measuring the quality of metals is called assay. So he does some assay work. So uh, that also gives him an income. So he gets income from, uh, then he also has a store. Uh, I mean, a store, shop, equivalent. Yes, yes, Raj Lakshmi. He has a general store. General store means, so uh, he is also running a shop so he also gets an income from that so he has got various sources of income so because he has got various sources of income for every source of income you have to pay income tax here the source of income tax government in the that is how the government runs the country so it is from the taxes that the citizens pay that the country is run so everyone who gets uh, some income or the other has to pay a particular amount as income tax. So he has income from many sources and for all those sources he has to pay income tax and therefore his tax figures are very complicated. So that is, it is in this context that he says that it is too bad that the flying saucer landed on April 14, 1956 when he was in the middle of filling his tax forms. But tax forms of Illyimba, April 14th. So he has to uh, complete it before the end of the month. So he is uh, in the middle of filling his income tax forms. That is when the flying saucer landed. What is a flying saucer? Flying saucer, exactly, Lakshmi. It is Parakandaliga. Parakandaliga is the one who is in the middle of the year. Sanjay Kinu and Vishwasikina, 
ഒരു വാഹനമാണ് ഈ ഫ്ലൈങ് സോഴ്സസ് ഫ്ലൈങ് സോഴ്സസ് ആർ സച്ച് തിങ്സ് ഇൻ വിച്ച് പീപ്പിൾ തിങ്ക് ദാറ്റ് ദീസ് ഏലിയൻസ് ഏലിയൻസ് ട്രാവൽ ചെയ്യുന്ന അന്യഗ്രഹ ജീവികൾ ഉണ്ടോ ഇല്ല എന്ന് നമുക്കറിയില്ല ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അവരുടെ ട്രാവൽ ചെയ്യുന്ന വെഹിക്കിൾസിനെയാണ് പറക്കും തളികകൾ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഫ്ലൈങ് സോഴ്സസ് എന്ന് വിളിക്കുന്നത് സൊ ദീസ് ആർ ദി വെഹിക്കിൾസ് വിച്ച് ആർ യൂസ്ഡ് ബൈ പീപ്പിൾ ഫ്രം അതർ പ്ലാനറ്റ്സ് എക്സ്ട്രാ ടെറസ്ട്രിയൽസ് എന്ന് വേറൊരു വാക്ക് നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ അതിൻ്റെ ചില ചില പിക്ചേഴ്സ് ഒക്കെ നമ്മളിങ്ങനെ വെറുതെ നെറ്റിൽ നോക്കി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ കാണാൻ പറ്റും വാട്ട് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് തിങ്സ് ആർ ദീസ് ഫ്ലൈങ് സോഴ്സസ് സോ ദർ ആർ വെരി ഇമാജിനേറ്റീവ് പിക്ചേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫ്ലൈങ് സോഴ്സസ് അപ്പോൾ ഈ നമ്മൾ ഈ ചായ കുടിക്കുന്ന സോസർ കമ്പി വെച്ചത് പോലെ ഉണ്ടാവും അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് അതിനെ ഫ്ലൈങ് സോസർ എന്ന് വിളിക്കുന്നത് ദീസ് ആർ ദി കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ഇമേജസ് ദാറ്റ് യു ഫൈൻ യു ലുക്ക് ഫോർ ദീസ് സോഴ്സസ് അപ്പോൾ ചിലർ ഞങ്ങളെടുത്ത് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ ചില ചിത്രങ്ങളൊക്കെ പോസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടാവും പക്ഷേ അതൊന്നും ആക്ച്വലി ഫ്ലൈങ് സോഴ്സസ് ആയിരിക്കില്ല വേറെ ചില മാൻ മെയ്ഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള സാധനങ്ങളായിരിക്കും സോ ദർ ഇസ് നോ റിയൽ പ്രൂഫ് ദാറ്റ് സച്ച് എക്സ്ട്രാ ടെറസ്ട്രിയൽസ് എക്സിസ്റ്റ് ഓർ ദാറ്റ് ദേ കം ഇൻ ഫ്ലൈങ് സോഴ്സസ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾ സ്റ്റിൽ സ്പെക്കുലേഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സ്റ്റിൽ വാട്ട് പീപ്പിൾ ഇമാജിൻ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സ്റ്റിൽ കൺസിഡേർഡ് ആസ് ഇമാജിനേഷൻ And therefore, we are not sure whether such flying saucers really exist or not. We don't know that we have flying saucers in the world. So, but uh, this is a story and in a story there are no questions. So, therefore, but he, he wants to make the story feel as if it is real. He is mentioning the date and all. So, when you mention the date, it is as if something that has really happened so that is why this these dates are mentioned here april 14 1956 is mentioned here because uh, uh, he wants to make the readers feel uh, that they are not reading a story there is something which really happened okay so it's a we will move on to the next uh, paragraph so uh, flying saucer land here so Uh, that is the situation i saw it land so it is a reference word nammala reference words ne kurichu kanya module lo padichu reference words reference words are words which refer to something else which have already been spoken about that are reference words appo adile reference words ne nammala padichathu he she it they enakke ullathu so here uh, we have this uh, reference word it I saw it land. What is it? What is it? Flying saucer. Exactly. Yes. That's right. Flying saucer. So when he, say, when he says it, I saw it land. Yes, Shishma. That is right. Flying saucer. Very good. So that is the uh, flying saucer. So it is the flying saucer. So I saw the flying saucer land. Okay. So I think we can, somebody can read that. also we need to read that okay uh arundhati krishna cu arundhati krishna you can read what is that on the screen yes sir hello sir you can read Uh. Yes, I did that you can read. I saw it like it looked like a shooting star at first. Then the line, the line of light looked like a rocket. It came down. down two men got out i couldn't say anything or do anything i said amaron he never looked yes thank you arun so i saw it land he saw it land who is the speaker the speaker is the deputy sheriff the narrator okay 
narrator is the speaker. So I and the way another narrator. So narrator is equal to I. And that is the deputy sheriff. Okay. So these are all these three are the same. Narrator, I, deputy sheriff, so the person who is telling the story. So he saw it land. The person who is telling the story, he saw this land. It looked like a shooting star first. And then it looked like a rocket and it came without any sound. So usually the vehicles made by human beings will make a lot of sound. Even if you look at a rocket or an aeroplane or a helicopter, there will be a lot of sound when they uh, when they travel. When you travel in that. But here, this because they have so advanced technology, these aliens are supposed to have very highly advanced technology. There is no sound which is heard. There is no sound at all. It came down sweet, steady. There is no jerking even. Steady uh, means uh, without any movement. There is no movement. Steady. Without any movement. So it came down just like that, without any vibration, without any sound. And two men got out of it. So he, this, uh, uh, out of this uh, uh, flying saucer, that is this vehicle used by uh, aliens, two men got out of the vehicle. I couldn't say anything or do anything. I just sat there. Why couldn't he say anything? Why couldn't he do anything? Why didn't he say anything or do anything? What happened to him? In the Erika Mild Samboj. He was shocked. He very good, very nice, Raj Lakshmi. You are right. He was shocked. Yes, Krishna, that is right. He was shocked. He was surprised. He was also he has never seen aliens before. Very good. So he because he had never seen aliens before, and he because he has never seen a flying saucer before. When you see something which you have not seen for the first time, you are surprised, you are shocked. So because of that shock, he could... So that is why he was not able to... So otherwise he would have gone and warned the Sharif. The Sharif would have to go and the Sharif. So the name of the Sharif is Bart Cameron. So, Bart Cameron, he is the Sharif. So, he would have gone and warned him. Warning would have been a warning. But he would have been shocked. 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 He would have He 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 was the reason that he didn't see them. Sharif ne kaana bachira. Deputy Sharif ko kando. Viru baatna the. Camera ne ndi erno. What was he doing? Why was he? Not able to see. Very nice, Braj Lakshmi. Yes, Rishma. He was busy with the tax forms. So he was so busy doing the income tax forms, filling up the income tax forms. That is why he was not able to see the aliens. So the uh, Sharif was not able to see, but the deputy Sharif, the narrator, was able to see the aliens. But he could not warn the Sharif because uh, he was shocked. He was shocked to see the aliens. Okay, uh, the next uh, paragraph. Sri Nandana AG. Yes, sir. Yes. There was a knock on the door. There was a knock on the door, which wasn't locked. 
it open and the two men from the flying secure stepped in i would have thought they were city fellows if hadn't seen the flying secure land they wore dark suits and suits and black shoes they had dark complex complex complexions black way hair and brown eyes they had very serious look on their face and were about 5 foot 10 happy happy they looked very much alike yes thank you thank you sridhantana there was a knock on the door so they these people are coming in this paragraph is a description of these aliens who are coming inside the office of the sharif so they uh, they are very polite people they come and knock before they enter anyone's room so though the room is not locked they knock and ask permission before entering so they these two men they came, came inside Uh, from the uh, flying saucer so he says he would have thought that they were city fellows that is they were people from the city if he hadn't seen the flying saucer land so the only because he saw the flying saucer land only then he was കൺവിൻസ്ഡ് ബിക്കോസ് ദി നറേറ്റർ ഹാസ് സീൻ സോട്ട് സിറ്റി പീപ്പിൾ സാധാരണ മനുഷ്യരെ അല്ല എന്നുള്ളത് അയക്ക് മനസ്സിലായി കാരണം എന്താണ് ഫ്ലൈങ് സോസർ ലാൻഡ് ചെയ്യണ കണ്ടു അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സാധാരണ മനുഷ്യരെ പോലെ അവർ തോന്നുന്നു ബിക്കോസ് ദേ ആർ ഡ്രസ്ഡ് ലൈക്ക് ഓർഡിനറി ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ്സ് യുനോ ഏലിയൻസ് ആർ കേപ്പബിൾ ഓഫ് ചേഞ്ചിങ് ദർ ഫോം ഏലിയൻസ് ആർ സപ്പോസ് ടു ബി കേപ്പബിൾ ഓഫ് ചേഞ്ചിങ് ദം സെൽഫ്സ് ഇൻ ടു എനി ഫോം ദാറ്റ് ദേ ഡിസയർ അവർ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്ന ഏത് രൂപത്തിലേക്ക് അവർക്ക് മാറാൻ പറ്റും സോ ബിക്കോസ് ദേ ഹാവ് കം ടു സി പീപ്പിൾ ഫ്രം ദ എർത്ത് സോ ദേ ആർ ഡ്രസ്ഡ് ലൈക്ക് പീപ്പിൾ ഫ്രം ദ സിറ്റി so they are wearing suit shoes etc and they have dark complexion okay so what is complexion complexion is color of the skin complexion is color of the skin skin color ne ana complexion is so we have dark complexion uh, fair complexion okay and whitish uh, uh, whitish complexion we have different colors of the skin so that is what is meant by complex so this paragraph describes the appearance of these aliens they have dark complexion they have uh, black wavy hair wavy hair means uh, the, not straight hair uh, it looks like waves in the ocean so that is uh, uh, wavy wavy means like a wave tiramala wala So that is the meaning of wavy and the color of the eyes they have brown eyes and they were very serious looking people there was no smile on their face they did not smile they looked very serious and how tall were they they were 5 foot 10 means they were very tall just less than 6 feet means they are very tall a piece means a piece means each ഓരോരുത്തരും എന്നാണ് എൻ്റെ അർത്ഥം എ പീസ് മീൻസ് ഈച്ച് സോ ദ വെർ ഈച്ച് ഓഫ് ദം ഈച്ച് ഈച്ച് രണ്ടു പേരും ഓരോരുത്തരും എന്നാണ് എ പീസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ബോത്ത് ഓഫ് ദം വെർ വെരി ടോൾ ഫൈവ് ഫുട്ട് ടെൻ ഇഞ്ചസ് ഫൈവ് ഫുട്ട് ടെൻ മീൻസ് ഫൈവ് ഫുട്ട് ടെൻ ഇഞ്ചസ് ട്വൽവ് ഇഞ്ചസ് ആണ് ഒരു ഫീറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ ഏകദേശം ആറടി ഉയരമുള്ള നല്ല ഉയരമുള്ള ആളുകളാണ് ആൻഡ് the 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 peculiarity is that they looked almost like the same rendu verum egadesham oru pole undu kaanda they they looked as if they are the same alike means same so that is the this so this paragraph describes these people who have come in the flying saucer okay Okay, I'll ask uh, 
person to speak. Uh, Dishmi uh, O.R. Yes, sir. Yes, Dishmi, you can read. Allah, God, I was scared. God, I was scared, but come, come in Cameron just Cameron. looked it up. Uh, uh, look it up when the door opened and for frowned. He said impatiently, uh, "What can I do for you, Flops?" One, one of the two stepped forward. He said, "We have watched your people for a long time." He pronounced the catch, uh, cash for carefully. We have chosen this hotel for our first meeting because it is relaxed and peaceful. We know that that you are leaders here. Yeah, thank you, Rishmi. So he says, "God, I was scared." So he's uh, he's uh, praying to God. He's swearing upon God. My God, I was scared. Scared means afraid. Scare is fear. So I was scared means I was, he was afraid. Is he afraid? Because these people are coming and meeting us. So aliens are, how they will behave, what will they will do with us, we don't know. So whether they will be friendly, whether they will cause some harm to us, we don't know. So that's why he is afraid. Like we are afraid of anything that is not familiar. So you are afraid, so most of us will be afraid of ghosts. We don't, we don't know what they are capable of doing, so we are afraid of ghosts. So that is the scare. So that is why he is scared of these aliens. And Cameron doesn't understand that these people are aliens because he has not seen the flying saucer landing. So he just looked up and he sees two people and he thinks that they are ordinary people. So that is why he asked them, how can I help you? What can I do for you? Means how can I help you? Folks means it is a general term for people. Folk dance. Folk so what do I want? What do you want me to do for you? So these people uh, uh, are standing there. They have come asking something. So they have come to meet the Sharif. So they uh, tell their purpose. So one of them tells that he says that they have uh, selected this place for a meeting with people on earth. Because it is, a, it is an isolated place. Isolated means lonely. It is lonely. Isolated means lonely. What is lonely? Yes, exactly, Anjana. What the pet of So it is, an, it is very nice. Thank you for that response, Anjana. It is, uh, it is a, it is a peaceful place. It is a lonely place. It is another word for isolated is secluded. Yes, secluded, isolated, like a same meaning. So, and it is peaceful. So this place, so the, we have to remember the name of the city also. It is called, the name of the city is Tringalch. So they say that they have, these uh, people, they are aliens, they say that they have come to meet the leader here. The leader is uh, Sharif. Sharif or uh, city leader. And here the Sharif of this place is Bart Campbell. So we have come to meet the uh, leader of this place. He thinks that they are they have come from somewhere else. He doesn't understand that they are aliens. The reason is that he has not seen the flying saucer land. Flying saucer land is the Deputy Sharif He is unable to speak because he is shocked. Because he is shocked, he is unable to speak. And 
therefore he is not able to warn the sharif that these people who are uh, who have come to talk to him are not ordinary people they are aliens so this is the uh, situation so they say that we have come to meet you because i know we understand that you are the leader in this place okay so uh, they do, they do not clearly say that they are aliens so there is some confusion which is created by their conversation so we this is an example of how conversations can create confusions if you are not very clear about what we are saying so uh, this is a very nice uh, example of how a conversation can create uh, confusion so they say that they are different people pakshe avare anya griham ennallathu krithyamayittu parayathathu undu cameroon doesn't get the idea that they are aliens so he happens to understand that they are people from another country mattoru rajyath nu vannadana nu mathramana ayalu manasilakkunnu actually they are not from another country they are actually from outside the planet itself ee planet il ninnu thanne maari vannattulla aalkar vera planet nu vannattulla aalkar so let us uh, read the next paragraph so uh, the leader in the very by the cameroon says that uh, leader nu arnja njan leader thaniyana karanam sharif aanu ningal uddeshikkunnengile sharif thaniyana udutha leader ennayana okay malavika please read i am the sharif if that's what you mean so speak it out what's your trouble we have learned your language and why of way of dressing we even change our appearance uh, we could see the camera was being to understand he said you guys you guys foreigners camera didn't much like foreigners thank you malavi so they say that we have come to meet uh, the sharif here so he says if you want to meet uh, the sharif i am the sharif so spit it out is a very rude way of asking somebody to speak so rude rude way nu arnal rude is the opposite of polite so spit it out nu arnal namma malayalathile parnu tholikkunnu okke parayilla adiniyana spit it out nu arnal endu artham so speak out ennallathu valare impolite aayittu parayumbodana spit it out enna so he is becoming very rude because he is the leader of a city he thinks that he has the right to insult others so he thinks that because he is the ruler of the city he has the right to insult others so and because he underestimates he underestimates these people who have come uh, uh, he thinks that they are just people from another city or another country he doesn't understand that they are aliens maybe if he understood that they were aliens he would have behaved in a better manner so he says so speak out tell me what is your problem so they say that they again are very calm and quiet they say that see we have come to talk to you we have learned your language so that we can communicate with you we have also changed the way uh, we dress we have come in the dress that you people wear and we have changed our appearances njangal actually kanda ingane onnalla aalkar alla so we have come as human beings human beings nu avaru parayanilla we changed our appearances nu parayunnu appo kanda njangal ingane alla enakku parayumba bad cameroon doesn't understand that they are aliens he continues to think that they are foreigners so that is why he asked them you guys foreigners ennana appa ayaka aagu manasilavunnathu ivaru vera oru rajyathinu vannoraanu but actually they are not from another country they are actually from another planet itself which is a planet nu vanna aalkar so he uh, there is a miscommunication that happens okay so uh, so communication if not properly done can become miscommunication so here uh, this uh, people tell them, tell him that they are 
they have come from somewhere else but they do, they do not very make it very clear that they are from another planet so their explanation only adds to their uh, confusion so when you when when confusion is created more explanation means it will lead to more and more confusion so to remove confusion there should be clarity in our presentation okay so here he says that are you people foreigners because uh, cameron never liked foreigners he didn't like people from another country he always liked people from the same country so uh, the, he asked them uh, asked them whether they are foreigners and they say that if uh, foreigners and varnal it actually if you look at the term foreign and varnal matteru idam ennu mathra arthullu adu yoru rajyamavam or planet avam or shariram anengil shariratnu porthullu adu ellam foreign body aanu so therefore foreign does not mean that from it is only from another country it can also be from another planet so therefore the man from the saucer says foreigners uh, indeed we are okay so that is what they say now foreigners are no yacha foreigners are okay so uh, th th this is a very vague way of answer this mean by vague vague nu arnja oru vaakku undu it is pronounced as vague pronunciation vague nanu what is the meaning of vague very nice rajalakshmi it is right not clear unclear aitla communication aanu vague ennu parayam very very good so uh, he, it is a, it is unclear from where they come from. so they say that we are foreigners so that is what he they say okay we will read the next paragraph abhyaktam ana adana okay that is that is we very nice yes anjana that is okay now who will read ഭാഗ്യലക്ഷ്മി ഹലോ യാ ഐ കാൻ ഹിയർ യു the man from the man from the saucer said the man from the saucer said for us it is we are we come from the water place where people call venus i have had seen the flying saucer i had seen it land i had to believe this this man or this something came from venus but camera blinked and i he said all right we all have equal rights regarding it i am at your service what can i do for you thank you thank you bhai gilish so he says uh, the man from the saucer said okay if you want to call us foreigners we are foreigners we come the watery place your people call venus so here the uh, people have now clearly said that they are from venus what is venus venus and then very nice project me this a planet yes so what is the malayalam word for venus shukran malayalam thana exactly wonderful krishna sir yes shukran aanu ningal vaigunerangalile padinaran pravalathile nokkiyale kaanan pattuna oru planet aanu shukran adha venus it is uh, it is considered to be a planet uh, from which women have come 
so it is believed that uh, there is a book also men are from mars and women are from venus nalla oru pusthakam undu ningalku valare interesting aayittulla oru book aanu if you are interested you can find out and read that book it says that uh, human beings have uh, on earth have come from two different planets cherikum manushar ennu parayunnathu adile men have come from mars mars ennu parayunna a planet nu uh, women have come from venus ennu aanu parayunnathu so that is a, it may not be true but these are some things which uh, are written in books so here uh, we say that these people say that they have come from this planet called venus ashe ee bad camera un sheriki shraddhikunnilla parayana so communication the problem with communication is that even if a person men uh, uh, a person mentions things very clearly if the if you are not a good listener okay if uh, if you don't have the listening skills okay, what happens if you don't have the listening skills what happens is that uh, even if the person has spoken very clearly you will not be able to follow if you have not listened properly appa teacher therefore we have any subject or anything we listen to any problem teacher will not take a class at that now so for example if it is maths physics chemistry whether the teacher have the teacher may have engaged the class very well but suppose the uh, student has not listened properly then also communication will not happen so communication is a actually a two way process okay so it is not enough that the uh, person uh, speaks very clearly we also have to listen properly so these aliens are very clear in their communication they say they mention the place adhyam avaru foreigners aanu foreigners aanu but they also make it very clear that uh, we are from venus the place which you call a watery place so it is believed that venus is a place which in you know, venus is a planet is which is believed to have a lot of water in it oru vaadu vellam jalathinte sanidhyam ulla oru planet aanu oru graham aanu venus ennaanu vishwasikkapadu so that is what they say that they we have come from this place which is a considered to be a watery place so uh, some comments are put within brackets because it this is considered to be a comment for the readers nammal vaaikunavarkulla comment aanu so uh, he say, i had seen hi here is the narrator the deputy sheriff so he says that i had seen the flying saucer i had seen it land so i had to believe this enikku idu vishwasikkaadirikkan pattilla karanam endanu njan kandu ivare ee flying saucer la varunu so these men appa adhyam ee manushare ennu parayengilum പിന്നെ അയാൾ മനസ്സിലാക്കും മറ്റൊരു ഗൃഹജീവികളെ നമ്മൾ മനുഷ്യരെന്ന് വിളിക്കില്ലല്ലോ സോ ദീസ് മെൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് സ്വയം തിരുത്തുകയാണ് ഈ സെയ്സ് ഓർ ദീസ് സംതിങ്സ് അപ്പൊ അവരെ എന്ത് വിളിക്കും എന്നറിയില്ല അതുകൊണ്ട് ഹി സെയ്സ് ദീസ് സംതിങ്സ് ദേ കെയിം ഫ്രം മീൻ സോ ഐ ഹാഡ് ടു ബിലീവ് ദിസ് ദി നറേറ്റർ ഹാഡ് ടു ബിലീവ് ദിസ് ബിക്കോസ് ഹി ഹാഡ് സീൻ ദ ഫ്ലൈങ് സോസ് ലാൻഡ് ബട്ട് ക്യാമറൂൺ നെവർ ബ്ലിങ്ക്ഡ് ആൻ ഐ മീൻസ് Uh, when you don't blink an eye appo nammal endengil oru shabdam kettu kenja kannu ariyada chimmu allengil endengil oru pattam aarengil vilichal nammal kannu chimmi po so when you don't blink an eye ennu parnal yaadoru expression illadirikka which means that you are unaffected by anything so avare idakke parnengilum cameron is not affected by what they say because he thinks that uh, they are foreigners he has not properly listened to the uh, the aliens he had not listened properly to the aliens so he continues to think that they are foreigners so therefore he says that uh, who whichever country you are from there is no problem we have equal rights appo namukku ellarkum tulya avakashangalana nammal edu rajyathil ninnu vannavaraanu appo ippol ayal chindikkunnathu ivare edo vera rajyathil ninnu vannavaraanu so we have equal rights regardless of race ഇത് എന്ത് റേസ് ആണ് ഓട്ടോ മത്സരം എന്നുള്ള റേസ് ആണോ അത് അങ്ങനെ ഒരു റേസ് ഉണ്ട് വട്ട് ഇസ് ദ മീനിങ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് റേസ് റേസിന് അങ്ങനെ ഒരു മീനിങ് ഉണ്ട് പക്ഷെ ആ മീനിങ് അല്ല ഇവിടെ ഓട്ടോ മത്സരം എന്നുള്ള ഒരു മീനിങ് ഉണ്ട് റണ്ണിങ് റേസ് എന്ന് നമ്മൾ പറയും പക്ഷെ ഇവിടെ വി ഹാവ് റൈറ്റ്സ് റിഗാർഡ്ലെസ് റിഗാർഡ്ലെസ് മീൻസ് വിത്തൌട്ട് കൺസിഡറിംഗ് 
regardless of race creed yes ibhagam madam very nice yes creed ennu parnjal race ennu parnjal vamsham creed ennu parnjal vargam color ennu parnjal the color of your skin adana aa color ne aanu nammal nerte complexion ennu parnjal yes sri lakshmi yes yes rishma sri lakshmi thank you for those responses so uh, then color ennu parnjal color of the skin color of the skin ne parayana adana endu complexion nationality the country that you belong to ഇപ്പൊ നാഷണാലിറ്റി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ പീപ്പിൾ ഫ്രം ഇന്ത്യ ആർ കോൾഡ് ഇന്ത്യൻസ് അതാണ് നമ്മുടെ നാഷണാലിറ്റി ഓക്കെ ഇന്ത്യൻസ് പീപ്പിൾ ഫ്രം അമേരിക്ക ആർ കോൾഡ് അമേരിക്കൻസ് പീപ്പിൾ ഫ്രം ജപ്പാൻ ആർ കോൾഡ് ജാപ്പനീസ് പീപ്പിൾ ഫ്രം ചൈന ആർ കോൾഡ് ചൈനീസ് നാഷണാലിറ്റി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു സോ ഇറ്റ് ഡസൻറ്റ് മാറ്റർ വിച്ച് കൺട്രി യു ബിലോങ് ടു വിച്ച് കളർ യു ഹാവ് ഇൻ ഓൺ യുവർ സ്കിൻ വിച്ച് റേസ് ഓർ ക്രീഡ് ഓർ റിലിജിയൻ ഏത് മതമാണ് നിങ്ങൾ ഫോളോ ചെയ്താലും അതൊന്നും പ്രശ്നമല്ല ബിക്കോസ് വി ഓൾ ഹാവ് ഈക്വൽ റൈറ്റ്സ് ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ്സ് ആർ ഓൾ ദ സെയിം സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് വി ബിലീവ് ഇൻ ദിസ് കൺട്രി സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് ക്യാമറൂൺ ടെൽസ് ദം അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾ ഏത് മതായാലും ഏത് വിഭാഗത്തിൽ നിന്ന് വന്നതാണെങ്കിലും എനിക്ക് പ്രശ്നമില്ല ഹൗ ക്യാൻ ഐ ഹെൽപ് യു അതാണ് വാട്ട് ക്യാൻ ഐ ഡു ഫോർ യു ഹൗ ക്യാൻ ഐ ഹെൽപ് യു സോ യു ഹാവ് യു സേ ദാറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് കം ടു ടോക്ക് ടു അസ് സോ ടെൽ മീ ഹൗ ക്യാൻ ഐ ഹെൽപ് യു സോ ദേ ദേ ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഹാവ് സം ഡിസ്കഷൻസ് വിത്ത് they share so because he is the leader of that place so they say that they have come to discuss something with you so you have to give us your time so that we discuss things with you okay suganya rajan yes sir we would like you to bring your important important men for your country here has discussion we want you to join our great organization slowly cameroon got red our people are joining your organization we are already part of the un and got known that as and i sup- supposed i am not get the president here e right now send a hurry up message he looked at me with the amazement and cameron really went to peace he banked his income tax from and yelled i have no time for foreigners who act to clear if you don't get out uh, get out of here right now i will lock up uh, lock you up and i will never let you out yeah thank you sukanya so uh, he asked them the sharif asked them what can i do for you how can i help you so this uh, alien says that we would like to bring uh, uh, the important men uh, of your country here for discussion so call your important people so important people of the country means a president a prime minister angela very important people. so you are the sharif if it is this land so you are bring those people here because here it is an isolated and peaceful place so we will have some discussions here we want to you to join our great organization appo ningalde oru sanghadana unda appo adile ningal join cheyanam nu parayam so cameroon got red the certain colors are associated with certain emotions so cameroon got red means അയാൾക്ക് എന്ത് വികാരം വന്നു എന്നാണ് ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നത് സോ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദി ഇമോഷൻ വെരി നൈസ് രാജലക്ഷ്മി വണ്ടർഫുൾ യെസ് സുകന്യ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് റൈറ്റ് ഹി ഗോട്ട് ആംഗ്രി ഓക്കെ സോ സെർട്ടൺ കളേഴ്സ് ആർ അസോസിയേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് സെർട്ടൺ ഇമോഷൻസ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഗ്രീൻ ഈസ് അസോസിയേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ജലസി ഓക്കെ യു ടേൺ ഗ്രീൻ വിത്ത് ജലസി ഓക്കെ and uh, when you uh, uh, when your skin uh, turns white uh, then it means you have become weak okay so white or pale skin is associated with weakness sharirathine sheenam varumbo chalpo your skin color becomes white or pale in color so that indicates weakness 
so every color is associated with certain emotions that you have so red when you turn red mugam chuvunu deshipettu mugam chuvunu means it becomes a, a symbol for anger that cameroon is now feeling so he gets angry he says why should we join your organization we are already part of un what is un un in the organization is a form of un UN very nice dia united nations very very good aikarashtra sabha yes krishna so uh, yes sri lakshmi krishna very good so many people are responding archana very nice very nice united nations aikarashtra sabha angana oru sangadana namukku undu appo adile nammal member aanu appo ini njangal ini വേറെ ഓർഗനൈസേഷനിലും മെമ്പറാണ് സോ വി ആർ സോ ഓൾറെഡി പാർട്ട് അപ്പൊ നമ്മളെ രാജ്യമാണെങ്കിൽ ഒരുപാട് ഓർഗനൈസേഷനിൽ നമുക്ക് മെമ്പർഷിപ്പ് ഉണ്ട് സാർക്ക് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇന്ത്യക്ക് അങ്ങനെ ഒരുപാട് ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻസ് ഉണ്ട് നമ്മൾ യുണൈറ്റഡ് നേഷൻസിന്റെ മെമ്പറാണ് ഇന്ത്യ മെമ്പറാണ് അതുപോലെ നമുക്ക് നമ്മുടെ അടുത്ത അയൽ രാജ്യങ്ങളുമായിട്ട് ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട ഒരു ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ ഉണ്ട് സാർക്ക് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ ഉണ്ട് അതിനൊക്കെ നമ്മൾക്ക് അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കേണ്ടതാണ് ദീസ് ആർ ഓൾ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ജനറൽ അവയർനെസ് Sark, you know, there is another organization called G8, that is in which eight countries are members. So they, there are many such organizations. So here this uh, man says, United States, because this is happening in the United States, America is not someone. But America is already a member of organizations. ഇനി വേറൊരു ഓർഗനൈസേഷനിലും കൂടി മെമ്പർ ആവണമെന്നാണ് പറയുന്നത് ഹി ബിക്കംസ് ആംഗ്രി ഐ സി ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ആംഗ്രി ഹി ഇസ് ഓൾറെഡി ആൻ ഇറിറ്റബിൾ പേഴ്സൺ അയാൾ പൊതുവെ ഇറിറ്റബിൾ പേഴ്സൺ ആണ് പക്ഷെ ഇന്ന് അയാൾ കൂടുതൽ ഇറിറ്റേറ്റഡ് ആവാൻ കാരണമുണ്ട് നോർമലി ഹി ഈസ് എ വെരി ഇറിറ്റബിൾ പേഴ്സൺ ബട്ട് ടുഡേ ഹി ഈസ് മോർ ഇറിറ്റേറ്റഡ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് എ പർട്ടിക്കുലർ റീസൺ യു നോ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ റീസൺ പൊതുവെ അയാൾ ഇറിറ്റേറ്റഡ് ആവുന്ന ഒരാളാണ് പക്ഷെ ഇന്ന് അയാൾ കൂടുതൽ ഇറിറ്റേറ്റഡ് ആവാൻ ഒരു പ്രത്യേക കാരണമുണ്ട് വെരി നൈസ് കൃഷ്ണ ഹി ഈസ് ഫില്ലിംഗ് ഹിസ് ടാക്സ് ഫോംസ് വെരി 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 ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ കൃഷ്ണ thank you for that response he is feeling up his income tax form so he is uh, already irritated and when he see these people come and demand something he becomes more irritated so that is why he uh, he shouts at them he is getting angry with them very nice so he bang so he becomes angry amaze amazement amazement means uh, uh, wonder okay wonder surprise he, he looked at me അപ്പൊ ഡെപ്യൂട്ടി ഷെറീഫിനെ നോക്കി ഇവർ എന്താ വിചാരിച്ചേക്കുന്നത് ഭയങ്കര സൗണ്ട് ഉണ്ടാക്കിയിട്ട് ആ ഇൻകം ടാക്സ് ഫോംസ് ഒക്കെ മേശപ്പുറത്ത് വലിച്ചെറിയാണ് സോ ഹി ബാങ്ക്ഡ് ഹിസ് ഇൻകം ടാക്സ് ഫോംസ് ആൻഡ് ഹി എൽസ് ആൻഡ് ഹി എൽസ് എൽ മീൻസ് ടു ഷൗട്ട് അലറാൻ തുടങ്ങിയാണ് ഐ ഹാവ് നോ ഹി സേസ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഹി ഐ എം നോട്ട് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ ദീസ് ഫോറിനേഴ്സ് ഇഫ് യു ഡോണ്ട് ഗെറ്റ് ഔട്ട് നൗ ഐ വിൽ പുട്ട് യു ഇൻ പ്രിസൺ ഓക്കെ ഐ വിൽ ലോക്ക് യു അപ്പ് മീൻസ് ഐ വിൽ പുട്ട് യു ഇൻ പ്രിസൺ ഇപ്പൊ തന്നെ അവിടെ നിന്ന് സ്ഥലം വിടണം ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങളെ ഞാൻ ജയിലിൽ അടയ്ക്കും ബിക്കോസ് ഐ ഹാവ് ദ പവർ ടു ഡു ദാറ്റ് ഐ എം ദ ഷെറീഫ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് സിറ്റി ഞാൻ ഈ നഗരത്തിൻ്റെ പിതാവാണ് ഐ എം ദി മേയർ ഓഫ് ദ സിറ്റി ഐ എം ദ ഷെറീഫ് ഓഫ് ദ സിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ഐ ഹാവ് ദ പവർ ടു പുട്ട് യു ഇൻ പ്രിസൺ സോ യു ഹാവ് ടു ഗെറ്റ് ഔട്ട് ഇമീഡിയറ്റ്ലി ഇഫ് യു ഡോൺ ഗെറ്റ് ഔട്ട് ഇമീഡിയറ്റ്ലി ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു പുട്ട് യു ഇൻ പ്രിസൺ ആൻഡ് യു വിൽ ബി നവർ ഐ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു ഗോ ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ജയിൽ സോ യു ബിക്കം സോ ആംഗ്രി ആൻഡ് you must remember that sharif would not have got angry if he had understood that these people are not foreigners and they are aliens alad manasilayittilla manasilayirundengil ingane ayalu shout cheyillanu 
so when you are busy with something or when you are not attentive you have problems with communication so attention is a very important thing in communication if you are not attentive whether in the class or whether outside uh, even when you are driving see driving is also a kind of communication if you are not attentive what will it happen what will happen when you are driving and you are not attentive what will happen what can happen if you are not attentive while you are driving very nice krishna thank you yes rajalakshmi archana accidents you will get into an accident so uh, whenever we yes suganya that's right whenever we are uh, listening we, we have to listen properly if you don't listen properly uh, we will have a miscommunication so it is communication is a two way process not only the person who speaks has to be very but i am saying ningle vrde shradhichirundond karyalla nan seriya reethiyil ningalodu samsarichillengil ningalku manasilavilla appo shradhichirundha mathram pore parayna aalum yaktamayitte parayanu so uh, both have responsibility the speaker has responsibility the listener also has responsibility here the speakers are the aliens they have their they have made it very clear avaru varuna sthalavum idokke krithyamayittu avaru parnu but cameron was not listening because he was tensed he was anxious he was uh, worried because of the because of the busy condition in which he was he was feeling his income tax form so that is why he you know did not listen properly if he had listened properly and understood that they are aliens he would have behaved in a much better manner but because he misunderstood he did not hear properly he thinks that they are foreigners and he behaves in a very rude manner a rude manner rude is the mariyada illa so he behaves in a very rude manner with the aliens and aliens are very powerful you know that aliens are very powerful much more powerful than human beings and if we behave in a rude manner with them surely they will punish us so what will happen how will these aliens respond what is the punishment that these aliens are going to do give to the earthmen all these things we will discuss in the next class so that's all for today thank you for joining have a nice day goodbye goodbye everyone thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you thank you thank you thank you sir thank thanks everyone thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you